remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Concerned Niger Deltans have expressed their frustration over the non-commencement of work on the East-West Road reconstruction project since the Federal Minister of Works and Housing took over its supervision in April this year. Consequently, they are calling on the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashola, to immediately commence work on the project and ensure its speedy completion to open up several isolated communities in the Niger Delta for rapid development. In line with a presidential directive, former Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswin Lakbadu, in April this year, formally handed over supervision of the East-West Road construction project to Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola. During the handover ceremony in Abuja, Senator Akbabio announced that a 10.4 billion naira Sukuk issuance for the rehabilitation of roads in the Niger Delta had been channeled to the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing to start off from where the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs stopped in the construction of the East-West Road. The sum of 10.4 billion is awaiting release to the Ministry of Niger Delta but I've directed that it should be released to the East-West Road account that will be controlled by the Ministry of Works. Speaking during the handover ceremony, Babatunde Fashola acknowledged that substantial progress had been achieved on the East-West Road reconstruction project. I think it is important to acknowledge that whilst there is work to be done, substantial work has been, has been done, and that is the rainforest of Nigeria, one of the most difficult places to undertake construction because of the uh, soil conditions. Five months after taking over supervision of the East-West Road reconstruction project, the Ministry of Works and Housing is yet to commence work. His Royal Highness, Suanu Baridon, a traditional ruler in Ogoni land, is worried that the inability of the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing to mobilize the site and ensure speedy completion of the project has brought hardship to several communities in the Niger Delta. It's um, the hardship on the people, the, the, the within, living within the area, and you know route is also uh, one of the uh, things that are used to develop in terms of development. Now such things are not done, and so the economy of the place is completely in jeopardy because of the road. They don't think about us, they just think of what they can get from us, and by the end of the day they fuck it up. In a statement released last month, the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing hinted that it was considering a permanent and holistic approach to the reconstruction of the East-West Road project and had made a request to the Bureau of Public Procurement for approval of additional funds. Not a few Niger Deltans are worried that the current approach to the supervision of the project is radically different from the attention it received from the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs under the watch of Senator Akbabio. With the release of 19.67 billion naira in 2020 to recommence work on the project, the Niger Delta Ministry was able to achieve a milestone on sections 1 to 4 of the East-West Road project, as Babatunde Fashola observed in April this year. In trying to raise more funds to complete the project, whose cost at the time was estimated at 102 billion naira, the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs last year stepped down about 345 projects to enable it raise 10 billion naira, which was committed to the project. As a demonstration of his commitment to the completion of the project on record time, the former Minister of Niger Delta Affairs held several meetings with contractors and was always on site to inspect the speed and quality of work done. Moses Salvation, a political activist in the Niger Delta, is concerned that there has been no improvement on the East-West Road project since the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing took over its supervision some five months ago. East-West Road was transferred to the, the Federal Ministry of Works. But there is nothing on ground to show that there's any improvement. The, the road has remained stagnant, the construction is still the way it was. We've not seen anything so far. Nothing is working. Former spokesperson for the Pan Niger Delta Forum Pandev, High Chief Anabs Saraigbe, is equally disturbed that the Ministry of Works and Housing has not lived up to expectations since it took over supervision of the East West Road project, which he says should be brought under the purview of state governments for a speedy completion. Be that as it may, that the federal government is not serious with it. What happens to the state government? State government needs to do something. If the federal government cannot do anything for us, 
the state government should do it because the state government also collected money being spent by the previous administration to do federal road. Why can't the, state, the same state government spend money and claim it for the federal government? In recent years, the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing has made remarkable progress with the multi-billion naira Abuja, Kaduna, Kano and Lagos Ibadan road construction projects. A concerned Niger Delta, Daniel Wecox, accuses the Ministry of Works and Housing under the administration of Fasola of deliberate neglect in the reconstruction of the East-West Road project. I do not see under Fasola's regime headship as works completing the East-West Road. The, the possibility is that the biblical word, a camel, passing through the eyes of the Nidol under Fasola, except we have another minister of uh, works, maybe the likes of uh, the former MD of uh, NLNG, you know, uh, you know, who have that uh, conscience and consciousness uh, that these people are the geese that lays the egg. And why would it be like this? Contract for the construction of the 338-kilometer East-West Road was first awarded in 2006 to address infrastructure deficit in the Niger Delta. In the last 16 years, the project has been delayed by inadequate funding, a situation that is blamed on the federal government's lack of political will to see to its completion. Over time, the East-West Road has become a dead trap for motorists and continues to make life uncomfortable for other road users. The plight of commuters along the LMA Junction axis of the road is particularly worrisome, hence their call on the federal government to fix the road as a matter of urgency. Inside the Niger Delta, 